Officer Kane, Petty Officer Finney, you are brought here today to be awarded non-judicial punishment. Do you understand the charges that you are being brought under? Can you repeat our charges again, sir? You are being brought up for criticizing Navy training, undermining procedural compliance, incessantly whining like little girl dogs, and for using the term nub. Oh, and you lost the ship and the duty section. Please, none of this makes any sense. Navy Officer King, if you would like to speak, you may request permission to speak freely. Oh, you mean like in the movies, sir? Yes. Alright, permission to speak freely, sir? Denied. I'm just messing with you. Go ahead. Um, criticizing Navy training, whining, calling a nub a nub? Are you kidding me, sir? A bunch of aliens jacked the boat and we're being reprimanded for being sailors. What are you getting at, Petty Officer Keen? I'm getting at the fact that none of this makes any sense. Like, why are we still on watch? Well, there's nobody there to relieve us, because the rest of the duty section is on the boat jack boat, and the off-duty guys know better than to answer their phone at 3 in the morning. We can't just secure the watch station? Because a Navy ship has never been hijacked by aliens before, so there's no procedure and no documentation to tell us what to do. But that doesn't make any sense. That's my point. Is anyone even considering using common sense and logic to deal with the situation? Petty Officer Keen brings up a good point. What? Petty Officer Keen brings up a good point. A lot of this does not make any sense. You are right. A Navy warship and part of its crew is missing, and we are worrying about what we call the nubs. What the hell? And if we are bringing you up for criticizing Navy training and complaining about your current situation, we should be sending every sailor to mass. I'm confused. Now that I think about it, we do a lot of things pretty backwards. Ha ha ha. How has this been allowed? We are the most technologically advanced Navy in the world, and we don't have the ability to institute common sense every once in a while. I'm confused too. I'm going to do something about this. Let me get the president of the world on the phone. Hello, Mr. President. Sorry to wake you, but we have some critical issues that we need to address in the Unified Space Navy as soon as possible. We could be using a lot more common sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. What did he say, sir? First, Petty Officer Keene, Petty Officer Finney, all the charges that you are being brought up under for non-judicial punishment are hereby dropped. Second, Petty Officer Keen, as per the orders of the President of the World, you are being put in charge of a Navy Task Force. You get to be in a Task Force? Lucky. You shall be responsible for selecting the most highly qualified personnel and implementing a system to improve the Navy in every aspect. We will be sending you to the Task Force Sea School in Pearl Harbor for eight months, where upon completion you will be capped to Chief Petty Officer. We will also lift the alcohol ban for you for the duration of your sea school and pay for all your beer. They also offer the sea school in Fremantle, Australia. Would you like that one better? Now, now hold on there. What the hell is going on? Dude, did you forget about the golden rule of the Navy? What's that? If you're getting a good deal, keep your mouth shut. And the code name of your Navy task force shall be Task Force Remove Head From Butt. I can't help that a crap ton of red flags are going up. Task Force removed head from butt? Are you serious? And they actually brought a green table topside to send us to mass. And why didn't we go through the normal process of going to mass with the critique and the investigation and the report chat and the DRB and the XOI and crap? Keen. What? Keen. What? Keen. What? Keen. What? Keen. Damn it. What? Hey, shipwreck. Secure the attitude is 2330. You're late for the midwatch. Son of a crap.